Good morning, guys. I hope we're all sparkly. Today, we're going to talk about how TRT makes you invincible. I've just been to the gym. I've just trained shoulders. I am trying to get my shoulders back to boulders. I've had a long thoracic nerve palsy. It's been a horrible time with no shoulder stability. And I'm now finally able to train shoulders, but sensibly, because obviously I've got atrophy, not used them properly for two years. So it's slow and steady, progressive work, but my ego still wants me to lift heavy. But no, it's about time under tension now. I've done the heavy lifting. I've had the injuries. I've made stupid mistakes. It's now time to have a more considered response to training. So much like life, we make lots of mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. We have to adapt to progress. And what's important now. So when it comes to muscles, bulking and cutting is idiotic. Bulking on testosterone replacement therapy means you are in a calorie excess which means you have the potential capacity to put on muscle, but also fat. If you put on fat, what are you going to do? You're going to increase your aromatase production of estradiol. And how's that going to make you feel? Well, in theory, it might help your joints because obviously estradiol is necessary for joint function and movement stimulates synovial fluid production. So wonderful. Well, no, not wonderful, actually, because everything follows a bell-shaped curve when it comes to hormones. You can have too much and you can have too little. Ignoring the other ones, anxiety, feeling emotional, raising blood pressure. So we don't want that, do we? We don't want to become chunky monkeys for the sake of gaining two pounds of lean muscle over the space of six months or however long it takes you to gain muscle. That's idiotic. So what else happens when you eat too much food? Well, your SHBG is going to drop because your overall metabolic health is going to decrease. So how's that going to make you feel? Well, you were previously balanced on a well-balanced TRT protocol. You drop your SHBG, your free testosterone raises. And again, oh, wonderful. Testosterone. Testosterone has a positive role on muscles, it increases the nitrogen, nitrogen concentration, which promotes protein synthesis and prevents protein degradation. Wonderful. Ignoring the role that testosterone and SHBG has. SHBG helps the transfer of testosterone into the cells for what? Growth and repair. That's why SHBG goes up in stress states. It doesn't necessarily want you to have free testosterone to feel good and gain muscles, because that's not true, is it? Actually, the SHBG helps the transfer of testosterone into the cell for, again, growth and repair. So what's it all about? One more time, guys. Balance. So what can you do to gain muscle? Well, slow and progressive training, stress your muscle, not to the point that you're going to get injured, because obviously we've all been idiots before going too heavy. If you do need to lift incredible weights, what you're actually going to do is start stimulating your autonomic nervous system because that sympathetic, oh my word, I have to do this, will actually kick in. But physiologically, Going to failure all the time actually isn't very good for you, especially when you're in your 40s and 50s, because you will have a little bit of wear and tear. You are walking wounded. Hopefully now with testosterone surging around your body, you're going to feel normal, balanced and considered because again, What's the purpose of testosterone? To make you jacked. No, it's not, is it? It's to make you normal, 
not average because average isn't good in our society because we live in a sick society but to feel normal a guy yesterday ex-bodybuilder we're talking about how he feels again you know what i'm gonna say doc i could always do a little bit more and i said all right i know i know i know but how do you feel i feel really good you know the missus has said i'm a lot calmer how's the libido yeah good erections are strong regular morning erections and i said you want to distort that all right doc Let's stay where we are, happy, calm, content, good libido. Why, why would you want to distort that? Because we always want more. I want more. Now we've said it before and it's been six minutes. What have you got to do? You've got to earn your reward. You've got to understand the cut them Dexter. Whenever I say earn your reward, Dexter. What are you, what are you going to do? is you've got to understand the necessity for balance. You can only be anabolic when you're resting. And weirdly, when you're on testosterone replacement therapy, you're constantly anabolic because you are constantly anabolic. You've got a good stable level of testosterone surging around your body. Now, does that mean you can defy genetics and defy your physiology? No, of course it doesn't, because you're going to be given a healthy dose of testosterone that's not going to distort things like your blood pressure your hematocrit and dysregulate your lipid profile because that would be counterintuitive and counterproductive and ultimately you don't want that i know some of you think you do want that but take the path of least resistance short-term gains long-term losses slow and progressive so testosterone is going to make you invincible no i've got two niggling injuries i've got a torn meniscus that i did running down doing hill sprints during covid injected felt brilliant did three marathons in three days a month ago and the scrambling on the third one has literally destroyed my knee. So any lateral movement, I'm in pain. What am I gonna do about it? Suck it up, buttercup, and get on with it. But I'm gonna train sensibly. So at the moment, I'm avoiding lateral movement. So I'm just doing light squats and leg press and some single leg work. You have to adapt, you have to overcome. I've got a dodgy shoulder thoracic nerve palsy serratus anterior is no longer there on my right side but it is slowly recovering and rather than lifting heavy i'm doing slow and steady controlled isometric work and i'm building back up i used to be able to bang out four sets of 15 or 50 kilo dumbbells with ease now i'm just pyramiding up to 40 kilometers 40 kilometers 40 kilo kilograms i'm leaving my ego at the door because it's about longevity now it's about sustainability as much as i want to be jacked i want to live a long healthy productive life and if you look at indigenous tribes they're not all jacked are they they're functional they have form essentially our tall skeletons I mean that we really should be endurance -y type athletes, crossing the plains, using our brains to catch the prey, not these jacked up kind of Adonises that we all aspire to be. Because just think what's happening with that extra muscle. You know, you're protecting your bones and you're protecting your organs. Yeah, to a degree, but when you get really big, you're placing extra strain on your cardiovascular system and metabolic health and what's it all about longevity sustainability but being happy healthy and hopefully horny so slow and steady wins the race enjoy life and understand that testosterone is necessary for optimal well-being 
TRT is not going to make you Superman unless you're Superman, but it's going to make you you. So be the best version of you. Be considered and go earn your reward.